Alcoa Hour, brought to you live from New York by Aluminum Company of America, the nation's first and foremost producer of aluminum, who now give you this Alcoa label, which identifies the best in aluminum value. And now, for the best in Sunday evening drama, the Alcoa Hour. Hi. What happened today? Nothing. <laughs> I was sick. I think I had a virus or something. Felt like my joints was busted. That's a 24-hour thing. It's murder. Yeah. So, what happened at the dam? We plugged the leak. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not kidding. Are they shutting down one of the shifts or ain't they? Yeah, they sure are. Well, so far, it's just a rumor. We haven't heard anything official. I'm telling you. Oh, we're a great bunch of workers here. We finished that sinking dam two months ahead of schedule. End of the week, they knock off a whole ship. That's straight dope. Which one? Yours, Pike. All right, smart guy. Nobody knows. It's just a rumor. What are you so smart for? Well, I guess I was born that way. You know, some guys are born hairy. How would you like a belt okay, in the mouth? Okay, huh? okay. Fighting's not going to solve anybody's troubles. Hey. Who's that? Hey, look out! It's the fish air kid! Come on, let's go! Who is it? Who is it? Answer me this. Are you hurt? <coughs> well, what happened to you? Maybe she saw a snake or something. There's no yeah. snakes around here. No smart guy. Well, I'm telling you, there is. Listen, what'd you see, a snake? We better take it to a cabin. But what the yeah, heck happened to you? Are you all right? You want me to carry you? Somebody jumped on me. What? Huh? All of a sudden. Did you hear that? What do you, what do you mean? He grabbed me. Look. Oh, who was it? I don't know. Uh, what did he do? He kissed me. And? I was yelling. Well, what did he do then? I mean, well, did he touch you or anything? Oh. Where? I don't know. Now, come on, what did he do to you? I don't know. Listen, really. let's oh, take now, this kid back to a cabin. Oh, wait a second, Hannah. Right, who was it, honey? I don't know. Oh, what did he look like? No, come on. Huh? What did he look like? I mean, was he a guy from around here? You know, was he a big guy? I mean, I mean, tall or not? What's the matter? Didn't you see it? I'm taking a bite. I'm asking a couple of questions. Ask them later. The kid's Look, crying. Did you hear his voice? Oh. Or... Sufficient. Well, there's got to be some guy from around here. Maybe. No, maybe. We're 12 miles from town. Nobody comes snooping around here. He's right. It was some guy from this camp. You don't know that for sure. Oh, come on. What is so stupid for? Who else? Well, let's find him, huh? Yeah. Jumping out of the bushes on a little kid like that. How old is she? I think she's 15. Oh. 15? Oh, man. We ought to saw that guy in half. And how? All right, let's find him, huh? Listen, she didn't even see him, do I? Oh, we organized this thing right here. What'd you say her name was? Fisher. Where's her cabin? I think it's uh, that one right over there. 
Imagine, huh? A 15-year-old kid. Oh, I'd like to get my hands on him one time. Hey! Hey, you people over there, come here! All right, come over here. The little girl's gonna attack you. Well, what do you say we get this guy, huh? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't think she's hurt or anything. She's just scared. <laughs> He's mostly nervous, like her mother. Matt, I, I can't stop this car. She'll be all right. What What did he do to you, honey? It's all right. It's all right. It's all over. There's nothing to cry about now. I, I don't know. I... <laughs> you think I should go get a doctor for her? Sort of... I've never seen her like this before. <laughs> Dottie, would you like me to go get you a doctor to sort of look you over and... Well, I wish you'd stop crying, honey, because if, there's a, if you're not hurt, then, then, then there's nothing for you to cry about. It's all right, baby, it's all right. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's most of the time quiet. Well, as soon as she calms down, she'll be all right. Maybe you ought to give her some hot milk. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder who it was. That's well, funny. Ain't as if she was real good looking or nothing like that. I mean, well, I'd be the first one to say it. Well, I'll be going. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, I was thinking uh, maybe you ought to call the police. Think so? Well, I mean, it's up to you, but I, I probably would if it was Mike. Hey, How your daughter? Well, she's pretty scared. Well, can we come in for a few minutes? We've been talking outside here. We'd like to have a meeting. For what, what for? Well, can we come in? Well, sure, sure. Come on. I never met you, my, my name is Durant. Uh, Fisher is my name. <laughs> this is my wife. It's a pretty rotten thing that happened here, man. We aim to do something about it. Well, I, I was going to go get a doctor. And... Yeah, well, we can't have this kind of thing going on here. Fifteen-year-old girl being attacked, right? Well, sure, I'd be the first one to say it. She didn't... Yeah, we were talking over a lot of stuff out there, Mr. Fisher. I want to get this guy. All right, now, take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Yeah, we were talking over a lot of stuff out there. You know some of these boys here? Anderson, Sankey? Nice. Reynolds? Oh, hi, Sankey. Right. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you we're screaming mad. I mean, some of these boys got daughters just like yours. And, well, they don't like this kind of stuff. You said it, boy. Well, I don't like it either. I mean, I mean th this kind of thing is no good. Yeah, well, look, Fisher, the, the guy's in camp here somewhere, and we want him. Oh, now, just a minute. Here. She doesn't even know what he looks like. She didn't see him. Well, we want him. We're going to get him. Ain't nobody going to stop us. You want to see justice done, don't you? Well, sure, sure I do. I suppose I do. Yeah, listen to your little girl over there. Yeah, she's lucky, believe me. Oh, she's too scared to scream, huh? Here you are, honey. Okay. All right, good deal. Now, I got half a plan here I want to tell it to you. Me and the boys have been talking outside there, right, men? Yes, sir. Right. All right, number one. We put guards around the whole area. Nobody get in or out until we're finished. Number two, we get a list of every man's name in the place, over 15 years old. And we get up a committee. And we question each guy. That committee will be you, Fisher, her, and two others. And we, we find this guy in a couple hours. And then we got some plans, too. Yeah. 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 All right, that's enough. Man. How about it? Well, I don't know. You know, if we can just go on out and... You know, well, who's going to stop? Look, I tell you, Duran, you ought to call the police. You can't run things like this. Who can? You can. I mean, this kind of stuff is dangerous, taking over the law. What do you think oh, happened come to people? Come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what? I tell you. You call the police, huh? This stinking place ain't even got a phone. So you ride 12 miles into town, you have a talk with the sergeant. You know what he'd do? he send one or two of his big brains out here, and they snoop around. And they tell him to forget about it, that his daughter ain't hurt nothing. They don't find nothing, they never do. Well, it's none of your business what they find or don't find. 
Who made you the law around here? <laughs> we are own law, boy. You think those people in that town care about us? They just want us to mind our own business. We transients, man. That's like garbage. Try to put these shacks up when the job's finished while they tear them down. We go on looking for more work. We don't live here. Ain't nobody watching out for us, boy. We gotta protect our own. Now, why don't you stop giving me a hard time and get back to your cabin? We're gonna be coming around for your list. <laughs> now, who's with me on this thing? Well, you know, yeah. All right, Reynolds, you get a couple of men and be the guards, huh? Okay. I mean, find a ring around this area. Well, if they give us a hard time... Well, if they give you a hard time, then you bust their head. I mean, bust it, too, huh? Right. Anderson? Yeah. You and McCarthy, Hello. you get a list of everybody in here, huh? Yeah. All the men. Right. All right, I'll talk to the little girl here. Now, uh, you, uh, you get the names of all the people on that side of the water pipe. I'll get them on this. Whether this is action in it, huh? What's your name, honey? Dottie. Yeah, well, don't you be scared. Ain't nobody here gonna hurt you. You calm down now, so I'm gonna ask you again. You know who it was? No. Did you see what he looked like, what he wore, anything like that? I don't know. I was so scared. Yeah. Well, well, did he say anything to you? He said, hey. Well, how do you feel? All right. A little nervous. Yeah. Well, now, what are we going to do, Daddy? We're going to go into every cabin, and we're going to find them. And we're going to punish them for you, Daddy. I'm telling you, we ought to lynch him. All right. All right now, come on. Now, does she have to go long? Uh, yes, she do, Miss Fisher. Now, don't you worry none here. Come on, Daddy. Very quiet out here, eh? Hey? Yeah. You hear about the shutting down of one ship to the dam? I heard. Hey, you guys at the pipe, get back to your cabins. What's the matter, your ears stuffed or something? I said get back to your cabin and stay there. Well, I'm feeling my back. It's still a couple more. <laughs> How do you like him? <laughs> I'm feeling my bucket. <laughs> Hope you're having a ball, Pike. Okay, you. Get going. Hmm. Well, once we get started with, we're getting the rest. All right, good deal. All right, snap it up. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel, all right? Okay. Now, let's go.
Phillips. Two men. John and Harry Ann Phillips. Matt, everything got so still all of a sudden. Yeah. I usually hear a lot of radios. Something wrong? I'd rather not talk about it now. You serious? I don't know. It's got nothing to do with it. Thanks. Fabulous. You know the reason here. Come on, write them down. I'm in a hurry, boy. Get out of here. Give me the names. Don't you put that other foot up. Say it again. I'm telling you, it was right here in the cabin. Say it again. Hey. Say it again. Hey. That sound like it? I don't think so. I told you he was taking a nap here the whole time. I heard the scream. Nobody asked you. All right, come here, darling. Now, you look at both of these men. Look like either one of them? No. Okay. Let's go. Writing. I'm writing a composition. Mm -hmm. The happiest experience in my life. Of my life. Of? Mm. Yeah, I play with them. Yeah. Julio. Is something wrong? Is it off or in? What? It's Raphael's composition. I didn't listen. It's, it's for English. It's the, the happiest experience. Man the happiest experience in my life. Maddie? Infante. I beg your pardon. What the names of all the men in here over 15 years old? Julio. Who are you? Now listen, I don't want any arguments with you. Now just give me the names. Let's go. What do you want it for? I, I can't give it to you if I don't know what it's for. Look, Mr. Puerto Rico, I want your first name, I want his, and I don't want any of your left. 
Listen, don't talk to me like that. Raphael is one, huh? What's yours? Julio. Julio? A great little name. Yeah, write it down. Write it to yourself. Raphael Julio. You're a long way from home, little brown brother. Don't do that. Dirty pig. Always be men like that one. It, it is their, their own sickness which makes them this way, not us. Someday, Raphael, you will learn to pity the man who needs to hate more than he needs to love. But he called you a name. He called me little brown brother. And the little is true, eh? And the brown is true. And the brother he didn't mean. But there's nothing so wrong with brother. <laughs> Is there any name? No. Why do they want our names? I don't know. Everything is still. Something is happening. Little no, I, I can feel it. They wouldn't want our names unless something was wrong. It may be only some little thing, something unimportant. No, it's not. Julio, I'm very scared. It has nothing to do with us. No, no, no speaking, this is our language. We should never have come to this place. I have said it and said it. Why? Because we should stay with our own people. We are with our own people. Do they think so? I don't know what they think. I only know what I know. We are the same as they. How do they say it? A hundred percent American. When we stay with Puerto Ricans, no one insults us. Here, I can feel them hating. They have to have time to get used to us. That man who came in, he hated us. He never even met us before. Now he has met us. Rafael, how's this? What's cooking, Mama? <laughs> Not too bad, Pastor. I, I will go and see why they want that. I'll go with you. No, no. Put your it's almost time for yes. Come in for a moment. Okay. Hello. Oh, I, I hope I don't disturb you. No, just feeding the baby. Come in. Well, what do you want? Just to ask a question. Didn't know that buddy was asleep. I, I'm sorry to disturb you. Maybe you can tell me what is happening in the camp. A, a man came to my house for the names of my family. I don't know why. Yeah, somebody tried to attack a girl from this camp. They formed a committee to find out who it was. Oh. Are there no police? I told you what was happening. Yes. Thank you. What will happen if they touch this man? They'll tear them apart. Alan. Very nice man, Alec. Huh? If 
fellow was just in here? Oh, uh, yeah. Why were you so cold with him? Why, he asked me a question, I answered. What else am I supposed to do? Is it because he's a Puerto Rican? No! No. But he acted very superior. You never do that. Look, I don't do that, man, that's all. Nobody ever talks to him around here. Well, why don't you talk to him, then? I get a little embarrassed. What do you want me to do? You want me to go over and apologize to him? No. I was just asking. Look, we got enough troubles without worrying about him. Well, why'd they have to come over here in the first place? Nobody asked him to. Come on, tell it again. Oh, Frank, I told you already. Where'd you go when you left us? I told you I drove into town to get a carton of cigarettes. What time do you come back? I don't know. Seven o'clock, round back. Frank, what do you keep asking me for? I didn't even see this kid. What'd you do then? I told you I came in here. I didn't see him. Well, you weren't here. You, you, you were out by that big tree or someplace. Frank, I'm your brother. Will you listen to me? Let me hear you say hey. What? Come on, say it. Hey. Say it again. Hey. I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? All right, stand up. Come on. Right, come here, Doc. All right, now whisper. Frank, I swear to you on our father's grave. Look, don't, don't swear that to me, boy. It wasn't me. Take a look at him. No. You sure? Okay. Let's go. See, see, I told you, Frank. I wouldn't lie to you. I told you. I was sitting right here in the cabin all the time. Who oh, would I lie to you? I just saw the committee. They went to the Shaw's cabin. Alex. They're not coming in here, Grace. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not going to let him in. Not let him in. Alex, they'll tear this place apart. Right, maybe. Listen, I was just looking out the window, and I saw him going by. I thought they were coming in here next. And you know what? My heart, it started to bang. There's no reason for that. Well, what are you going to do? Whatever I have to do. I'll fight him. No, you can't. Listen, Grace, no one's got a right to do what they're doing. There's police and law courts for this kind of stuff. Please, Alex. I'm very frightened. But so am I. But I got rights. Look, I don't have to let no one into my house no time. Unless I feel like it. Oh, they got a warrant. Well, they got no warrant. And I'm not coming in here. Oh, Alex. Oh, Alex, please. Hey, Pop, what's you doing with that? Alex, I'm begging you. They'll come in, they'll ask a few questions, then they'll go. I know they're wrong the way they're doing it, no, but there are too many of them. Alex! It's not fair. What about the rest of us in here? Yeah, what do you mean there's too many of them? the committee is. Three stupid men and a hysterical kid, and you know what they can do? Hey, listen, Pop. Just a minute, buddy. I asked them to get the police. They wouldn't. They want to be their own law. They got guards around this place. Where do they come off? Set themselves up as a... What for? Look, what's I, going on? I'm telling you. I don't go for mobs and strong-arm stuff. It goes against me. This is my home. What my family does or don't do is none of their business. Alex, please, what, Alex. What's he talking about? Look. Look at me. I'm scared. 
no right to make me scared. I'm telling you, Gracie, the first guy who tries to walk in here gets his head split open. Ah. What's happening? I'm sorry, Bert. Uh, somebody tried to make a pass at one of the kids around here, and she screamed bloody murder, and now they're out trying to find out. Hey, what's the matter with you? What are they doing? The girl's name is Fisher. It's right over here in the woods. What are they doing, Pa? They're looking for her. In here? Buddy. What will they do if they catch? Just fooling around. You know, like you like to fool sometimes. Pop? Huh? I was out getting wood, branches and stuff for the laundry fire. Pop, I don't even like this girl. I think she's dopey. So I snuck over, just fooling around. You know how kids fool. Crazy things all of a sudden to make somebody laugh or something. And I kissed her. One kiss, that's all I did, so help me. One right. kiss, and right. she screamed, really screamed. So I beat it. I didn't mean nothing. Buddy. Say something before. I don't know. I didn't think everybody gets so excited. Oh, please, those guys. Dad, don't look at me so funny. I didn't do anything so wrong. Pa, please. Alec, you can't fight them because they'll know. You tell them. It's only a baby. You tell them the way he told us, they won't do anything. They're liable to lynch him. <laughs> Buddy. Now listen. Did she see you? I don't know. Look. You'll say that you were here. With your mother. <laughs> I don't know. I will, we will try, huh? Begs. Two men. Father and son. Shut the door. You want to sit down? No. I don't want her to get tired. Tell her to sit down, huh? Hey, Daddy, you want something, honey? Glass of water. Thanks. Hey, Frank, it's getting late. We got about 30 more to go, boy. Well, take it easy. We've done six already. What do you suppose the police should be doing? What huh? they get paid to do. All right, we can pass this one by. 
He was sitting over on the tree with us when it happened. Okay. What's your name, boy? Buddy. What? Buddy. What are you so nervous about? What's he so nervous about? He was right here in the cabin when it happened. Right? Right. What'd you say? Right. I can hardly hear you. What, has he got a cold or something? Ah, come on, Frank, will you? Look, you want to handle this? Well, I didn't say that. It's getting late, that's all. All right, let me worry about the time, huh? Okay. You put in there finished here anyway. This one was with us, and this one here was right in the sack dreaming up a storm. Right, boy? Uh, no, I wasn't asleep. I was sitting here, and I was reading a magazine. Ah, good boy. Daddy, you, you know this boy? All right, now, where were you from 6 o'clock on? He said he, he was here in the cabin. Yeah. From 6 o'clock on? I don't have a watch. Well, uh, from the time you left school. I was here. Where's here? In the cabin. The whole time? Yeah. We just come from that cabin across the way. There's a family over there by the name of McParlin. They got a little boy, too. Ronald, Donald, something like that? What was it? I forgot about that. I was over there, too. What doing? Well, here's a, a chemistry set. We were fooling around with it. Then what? I came here. He was here with me the whole time after that. It was about a quarter of six. You never left the cabin? Not once. I was reading. Reading what? Uh, a magazine. This one. I keep telling him it's trash. I don't want him to read only about sports. He was here with me the whole time. I fed the baby. Alec came in, and he fell asleep. Anybody else see him here? I don't know. Well, who do know, huh? I don't think anybody saw him. You ever go in the woods? No. Never? Sometime. Well, how come you said never? I don't know. What are you going to the woods for? Well, it's a shortcut from where the school bus stops. I bet you were pretty big with the girls there, huh? No. No? Why not? I don't know. It's not. This one here appeal to you? No. No? <laughs> What's wrong with Oh, you? come on. What's the matter with you? Well, look, stop playing games. Ask him what you got to ask him. Get out of here. What are you so hot about, friend? Alex. Why don't you appeal to me? I don't know. What's the matter? Ain't she pretty? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Hey, Daddy, come in. This little boy says you, you don't appeal to him. You believe him? Now, was he the one? I don't know. You screwed over there. Let me hear you say, hey. Come on. Hey. Say it again. Hey. All right, softer again. Hey. Does it sound like it? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. But does it sound like it? Yes. Yeah, oh, they all sound like it. Now, look, is he the boy or ain't he? I don't know. Now, what do you mean you don't know? Now, come on. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go home. I'm tired. But was he the boy, wasn't he? No. Okay. Well, let's go. Pop. Hey, look. Look, I know you've done seven already, but let's do ten. Then you can rest a couple hours and we'll, we'll, we'll do it again when you get a fresh start. Maybe we'll get him in the next few. Now, come on, Dottie, you're the important one here. Will you tell her to come on, Mr. Fisher? We've got to get this guy here. Yeah, look, Dottie. Dottie, listen. Just a couple more. And then we'll take a rest. Now, look, Dottie. Now, he may be in this next cabin, and then we're all finished. You want to get him, don't you? 
You want to run around jumping on other little girls, do you? Next time you may not be so lucky. You know? <coughs> Infinite? Ante. Two men, Raphael and Julio, right? We're having our dinner. Now, well, you, you eat it later. All right, stand up and walk over here. All right, come on, come on, let's go here. We ain't got all night. Go in there, don't be afraid. Get up, lover. Look at his hair. Rudolph Valentino. Stand over there. You have no right to do right, this. shut up, now come over here. They look familiar? It wasn't him, it was a thinner man. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Right, sit down over there. Go on, sit down. Listen, don't touch him! What are you so excited about, Rudolph? He's a regular ball of fire. Take it slow, lover, and you'll live longer. All right, now let's have it. The whole gory story. Where were you from 6 o'clock on? I was in the house. Yeah. So far, not one guy was out in that area. I've seen at least 20 guys out there. Now, come on, where were you? He said he was in the house. You shut up, huh? Now, let's see it. Where were you? Well, I was in the house. Yeah, doing what? I was running a conversation. You know this girl? No. I bet you hate girls, don't you? Huh? I bet you never even kissed one, did you? Right? Hey, right? No. Twenty yeah. bucks. Let's meet the boy. Look at him with his hair. They're all alike, I'm telling you, lovers. Listen, you dirty slob, you. Mama, don't you hear that? Let me call me! I'll get you for this, I'll take you right back to Cut it out! Cut it out! All right, now come here. Now you listen to this story, boy. This is the way it happened. You were walking through these woods. No. And that girl came along. No, I wasn't there. And you jumped on her. No! Come on, tell the truth once in your life, one time. I am. Get out of here! You open your mouth like you're not cursed! All right, now. All right, now, where were you when it happened? I thought I was sitting right here. You're lying. No, I'm telling the truth. Ooh, you. Ooh, what, are you what were you going to do? What were you going to do with that little girl, huh? Nothing. I, I was sitting right there. I was running the conversation. Mm, come on, lover. Tell us the truth. I am. You're a tight pretty boy. A real girl killer. Hey, mom. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's snap this up here. Come here. Uh, God, say hey. What? Let me say hey. I come am. Come on. Say hey. Say hey. Hey. Huh? I don't know. Please. Say it again. Hey. Huh? Right, close your eyes now, Daddy. Please. Close your eyes, honey. Please. Hey. Say it again. Hey. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I yeah, know. No, 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 you no, dirty no, little no, spit. No, no, no. Come here, man. Come We got him. We got him. Get a rope. Get a rope. Don't let it go. It's okay with me. Now, you hear that? Oh, no, wait a minute. Now, here's what I say. Someone's got daughters, wives. Send them heads to get a crack at them. 
And then the dough you lay off. Here, you take it. All right, now let's go. Give us a scared of. You weren't scared of, of a of a kid? Are you scared of me, huh? What's the matter with you? Come on, here I am. Oh, just look at you. What a sight. Uh, hey, what are you saying? Man? You shut that mouth. Open it again and I'll open up your head. You, 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 I can't say much because just looking at you is making me sick of my stomach. You know what you are? You're the dregs, the swills, the gutless wonders of the earth. Just look at yourself. Don't make you creep with shame, you mob of dirty, thick-skulled pigs. And all of a sudden, you're the law. Well, let me tell you something. Every time the pigs like you mob together to become your own law, you crawl one step closer to the cliff. And someday, pigs, pigs, over you'll go, flying into that big pile of bones at the bottom. <laughs> That's what you did to him. <laughs> Someone will do to you, and it'll be your fault. You hear? It would be your fault because you started it rolling. And here's the beauty part. When some other pigs come for you sometime, it might not be because you did something wrong. It might be for no reason at all. Do you understand that, you dirty, stinking pig? This boy didn't do anything. You came after the wrong one. You wanted my son. Well, here he is. He's waiting for you. Come on. Come on. Oh, he was my son. I was afraid.
UL Coa Wrap is now at your store in more ways than one. How? Maria Riva has the answer. Hello. This is new Alcoa Wrap, the brand new aluminum foil that's now at your store in the bright aluminum blue foil package. And this is also Alcoa Wrap, doing the same things for many well-known companies that it does for you. You might reach for these packages the first time because they're so attractive, but you'll go on reaching for them again and again because the cookies and crackers inside them are so delicious and oven fresh. Alcoa Wrap guards their freshness, keeps goodness in. On the other hand, this water conditioner is packaged in Alcoa Wrap to keep moisture out. Whatever is good for the product packaged in Alcoa Wrap stays in. What's harmful stays out. Like these potato chips. After they've been opened, just fold down the Alcoa Wrap package and they'll stay fresh for days. On almost every counter in your store, Alcoa Wrap is doing its job, doing many jobs. Keeping butter and margarine pure and odor free. Frozen foods all so perfect. Coffee cakes and other baked goods oven fresh. And cigars moist and cool smoking for that favorite man of yours. This Alcoa Wrap label means the maker has used Alcoa Wrap to keep his product at its best you. Look for it when you shop. You'll find the Alcoa label on many fine products. Look for it the next time you go shopping in your favorite grocery store. One week from tonight, the Goodyear Playhouse will present an exciting melodrama, The Terrorist, by Jerome Cooper Smith. Laid against the violent background of the Irish Revolution, The Terrorist will star E.G. Marshall as the leader of an isolated group of patriots in constant danger of their lives. Featured in a fine cast will be Thomas Carlin, Pat Henning, Michael Higgins, and Peggy Marr. Don't miss The Terrorist on the Goodyear Playhouse Produced by Herbert Brodkin. Now the names of the cast in tonight's play. Two weeks from tonight, the Alcoa Hour will present Man on Fire by Malvin Wald and Jack Jacobs. This moving and dramatic story delves deep into the mind and heart of a man, his wife, and their young child. Starring Ed Begley and Neva Patterson with Patricia Berry and Russell Collins heading in a fine cast of supporting players, Man on Fire will provide a most unusual and poignant drama two weeks from tonight on the Alcoa Hour. Tonight's play was brought to you live from New York by Aluminum Company of America.